Hey, what's up guys? All right, so this morning I released a uh, mixing slash production tutorial on an old session I started uh, working on. I did the session last night, tracked it, put it up. So that's for all you people who requested uh, more mixing production videos. However, a good part of you also wanted more music business stuff. So let's do a little one right now. There was a user by the name of DJ and he was saying something along the lines of he's got a budget together how you know where and how should he be spending that money to promote his 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 stuff um but this is marketing uh this is uh you know i'm glad he brought it up he had a couple of upvotes too so i'm assuming he's not the only guy sitting around with some pocket change who's ready to promote his way to the big leagues here's the kicker um over the years, as I've been releasing different brands and different projects and trying to get the whole thing sorted, I have spent a fair amount of money on this stuff, trying different avenues, this and that. And here's, here's what I'm going to say about investing in uh, music marketing promotion. Um, it's, it's sort of like a lottery. Um, there is, don't think for a second that just because let's say you've saved up 5k, 10k, whatever your number is, you know, maybe you have a thousand, maybe you have $500. Don't assume that, oh, you know, I'm going to spend this money. I'm going to spend it the right way. And this is going to take me to the top of the mountain. My experience has been that the hit rate on you spending for every dollar you spend in music marketing promotion. If I had to just go off the top of my head based on a broad level of experience over the years, for every buck you spend, I want to say you're going to get like, I don't know, 10 cents, 15 cents return on your investment. In other words, what I'm saying is guys that basically say, hey, give me X amount of dollars every month for the next three months, I'm going to push you to playlists. Yeah, you'll get on some playlists chances are you won't be on those playlists long enough to really get any of that money back. And this takes us, this takes us to just because you have visibility doesn't mean you got the right sound, doesn't mean you've structured your brand right and all this other stuff. I get, the long and short of it is I've had shit success in terms of spending money on promotion with uh, the end in mind being, you know, I'm going to recoup my initial investment. And I'm going to gain a bunch of fans. That has not been my experience. And I'll take it a step further. It's kind of like, you know, uh, you know, the civilian thinks, you know, if I spend money on promoting it, then that for sure, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get some value out of it. The professionals, let's say like big movie studios, there is no formula for a hit movie. Just like there's no formula for a hit record. I mean, you've got companies, you know, generating billions of dollars worth of revenue who have huge artist rosters. And these guys can afford to take a chunk of change into uh, a music artist or a, a film. And the shit flops. It just flops. So there's no formula for a hit. And it doesn't matter how many eyeballs you get on it. Those guys will spend for days and days and days. At some point, you got to stop the bleeding. You know, when, when the content you put out in the form of an album or a movie or whatever the hell you're doing, when you start spending money to get visibility and you don't get anything back, you got to stop the bleeding at some point, right? I, there's a handful of um, examples I keep thinking of Roger Rabbit uh, for you youngsters. You probably, you guys don't remember, but for some of us older guys, Roger Rabbit was a steaming piece of crap of a movie that came out, I want to say in the mid 80s. And the movie studio was sold on the idea that this was going to be some huge friggin' hit. The thing was a grade A flop. They threw everything they could into this thing. I mean, there was animation with live actors. They brought in some big names. They threw in a shit ton of cash for marketing budget. It fell flat. Long and short, I'll leave you with this one piece of advice. If you have the, if you have the budget and you're proud of the album you just put together, the single, and you really want to give it a fair shake, if you're... If you want to spend that money, spend it on press. Spend it, spend that money trying to get reviews of your music. 
up on uh, some sort of a, uh, a blog that discusses music or some maybe B grade, C grade level indie artist type blogs that actually have a community. Do not spend that money on playlist promotion because it doesn't pay. And do not spend that money on advertising with ads directly to your content. Does that make sense? Let's go over that again. You don't want to spend money on like ads to drive so people click on it and they end up on your YouTube video or on your Spotify page. Why? As soon as your budget runs out, those streams run out, right? All the, all the traffic, you're, I mean, unless you got some really hot shit that when out of every five people that show up or 10 people that show up, uh, you get a fan out of it, like a follower, you know, and that's a crazy stat. We're talking about a 10% success rate that if I click on your Google ad, every 10 people that click on it, you're going to get a fan out of one of them. I mean, if you got some amazing stuff and people gravitate towards it, sounds like you got a hit on your hands. Cause I mean, that's hit level statistics. If out of every 10, I, you know, 10 eyeballs, 10, 10 people, you get on that thing, you get, you get a follower that is a 10% conversion rate. I mean, that's, you, you have a, a hit, a viral hit or whatever. That's a hit. Uh, but the reality is most people will click on your ad. That'll cost you. They'll go to your thing. They'll listen for a couple seconds and eh, and then they're off. And as soon as that budget runs out, your ads are out. You spend a shitload of bucks and you got nothing to show for it. Playlists, I told you guys, there are companies that, yes, they will actually get you on some Mid-level playlists. I'm not talking about the Spotify curated playlists. I'm not even talking about Apple Music um, curated playlists. I'm talking about the people that have built up their playlists, you know, individual users, and they pitch these people. And yes, they will get you on some of these. However, big independent playlists. The reason why they're the reason why they're big is because these people, the curators, the users, they're actually adding. To that playlist all the time to keep it fresh and as they add new content you're going to find that your track is going lower and lower and lower right so yes you spend a shitload of money with a company that's plugging your stuff they got you on a couple playlists guess what as soon as you cycle through all those playlists within a matter of months or weeks or whatever it is you're done and whatever traction and traffic that you got you know, when people listen to playlists, you know, they just hit, they're lazy. <clears throat> Most, you know, they just hit play. They don't want to think about it. They don't want to seek out the artist. The, the playlist plays and whatever's on there is cool. There will be a couple people that when they hear your track or a track they like, you know, they'll, wow, who, who's this artist? And you get a follower that way. But the conversion rate on getting followers in a playlist type of environment is shit, Okay. The press thing I like, and I'll tell you why I like it, and this is a little bit of uh, internet marketing and SEO. Essentially, when you get an album reviewed, when you get a publicist, uh, even the mid-level indie guys who can get your album reviewed, even if the review of the album is garbage or you don't like it, is irrelevant because what they do is once those album reviews are up online, they will link to your social media account or your Spotify page or whatever the hell you want your publicist to link to. And the nice thing about the press stuff is once they do that stuff, it's always there. And the Google search engine sees that, oh, artist A has a bunch of backlinks going to him from these other sites that deal with this genre of music. So we know who artist A is. He's got a little bit of some a backlink juice so that you get bumped up in the ratings. That is the only real value I see. That is, that is the safest bet on spending money for a music promotion. That has been my experience. I've tried many different angles. I, I've spent thousands over the years trying different angles, different companies. And I'm there. Are, there's a bigger thing that actually needs to be discussed before we even discuss spending money. And we'll get to that because that's really the foundation of your brand. But uh, where are we at? 10 minutes almost. You, the long and short of it is, <clears throat> if you're hell-bent on spending money and you think you're sitting on a good piece of work, spend every last dime on getting your album reviewed across these independent blogs. There's plenty of companies that have huge contact lists and relationships with these bloggers. They will get your reviews, that's guaranteed. 
for the money you pay them and the rates vary you could it's probably a couple hundred bucks to a couple thousand or however far you want to go um, but they will get you write-ups and those backlinks from those articles from those reviews are there forever okay and they're they're essentially creating more visibility because Google sees you as a, a valuable page because everybody's backlinking to you. This is uh, search engine SEO crap 101, but basically my money is on uh, a press. My money is on press. You want whatever, you don't wanna waste money on shit that once you use it up, it's gone. You wanna, you wanna invest your money, invest it in backlinks via uh, album reviews. All right. I hope you guys dug this next video. I'm going to go back to that audio production stuff. I've up uploaded it earlier this morning. I'll try to get something out for you guys to wrap up that eight bar loop mix, uh, but I'll keep it coming. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'll catch you later. Peace.